Now, there are many variables that make a barrel accurate or not. For the sake of this argument and to keep the length of this video down, let's assume that the chamber, shoulder, neck, throat, lens and grooves of the rifling and the bore are all machined as close to perfectly concentric with the best possible finishes on all surfaces. Now, with all those features as close to perfect as we can get, the next largest factor in a barrel's accuracy is its rigidity or stiffness, which is the barrel's inability to be bent or to be forced out of its shape. Now, the shorter and thicker a barrel is, the more rigid it is. And the longer and thinner a barrel is, the less rigid it is. So barrel rigidity is key, and it relates to a barrel's harmonic frequency. Now, every barrel vibrates differently or has a unique frequency that depends on the metal used, the different metal densities within the barrel, imperfections in the barrel's machining, etc. And two things that matter in the barrel's harmonic frequency is the barrel's frequency amplitude and frequency node. The amplitude is determined by the round fired and the barrel's rigidity. The more rigid a barrel is, the smaller the amplitude, and the less rigid, obviously, the larger the amplitude. 